Eric's house. house. I don't know where Eric's at. I can't see y'all. He's right there. Oh, okay. I can't see everyone. Anyways, hi, my name is Kanai. I'm currently in Des Moines, Iowa. And Daisy will be my sub today. I just we didn't. We didn't even. Do, we damn. We didn't even do the intro. You know. Yeah. Can, we have. Wait. Whoa. Okay. Get out. Can, Get out. <laughs> y'all can zoom, and I have FOMO, so I'm just here to say hi and goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs> Get out. Damn. Bro, I I I, ha- I want to sleep early. Okay. Bye. Early. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, because, because Bye. I, I, I love you guys. Bye. Bye. Because I was, I've been, I, I've been up for, I was up for like twenty four hours. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty four. Because I didn't go to sleep. <laughs> I didn't go to sleep until like five, yes, a.m. And then I woke up at eight. So. Wow. Yeah. Dang. Anywho. Okay. Well, I started. The Any hoodle. I can intro. I'll intro. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Dose of Discord podcast. Woo! Yeah. So today we have me, AJ. We got Tiffany. We got Eric. And Kanai is not here because she is out on, I guess, a vacation. So Daisy. I would is, say it's a vacation. That's a word for It's basically vacation, kind of. Uh, we got Daisy. Trip. We got, yeah, road trip. Yeah, road that's trip. the right word. Uh, Daisy, we got Daisy, Daisy, Daisy subbing in here. I guess Daisy's our, always our substitute. She is our substitute. Yeah, she's our, um, she's our, she's our sub. So get, you'll probably see her often. So yeah, how's everyone doing on this fine day? Terrible. Terrible. Yeah. If so you don't, if, for the, if you're listening and not seeing the audio, I currently have a very swollen left eye, and it hurts. So what? what? Yeah, but what? What happened? I, I think it was Is like it an allergic like... reaction to something. I don't know. It you just kind of yeah. popped out of nowhere. Like, did you just wake up with it? Well, <sighs> or like, was it kind of like a slowly, like a gradual? Because I've that's happened to me before. Like, it was a slow. Like on, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday. It was kind of irritated, and then I think Thursday it started swelling a little bit, and then Friday it was just like oh. boom. Maybe like something with like your eyelash or something. Maybe oh, because they so usually. Like, I'm trying to flush it out with eye drops. So hopefully oh yeah, that. hopefully have like you know advice for everyone. Do like a like paper towel, like cold. You like press it on. But yeah, what's uh what's everyone drinking today? What am I, what am I drinking? I'm drinking ice, water. ice mountain water. water. I was drinking um a juice earlier, but I think I finished that. I don't know where it went. Yeah, that's what I'm drinking. I have a uh, water. Water. Uh, great value Walmart. Brand. Okay, Walmart. <laughs> and I also have a Smirnoff Ooh, ice. Ice, 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 ice. 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 What flavor yeah. is? It's a red, white, and berry right, one. red, white, and berry for Fourth Yes, of July. that's a good one. That's a good one. Very patriotic. Very. Yes. That's military okay. Of you. Okay, okay, military. Yeah. On brand. <laughs> On brand. Okay. Oh yes, the ASMR. How about you, Eric? What are you drinking? So I drink a lot of sparkling water, and so yeah. I made a purchase. I decided that it would be worth it to buy a soda you, spray. Oh, oh my god! I was gonna say that. I'm like, <laughs> man, did you buy yourself the soda spray thing? Yeah, I did, and I got the soda stream, and I I got some of the flavors that I already drink. Um, I think that'd be like, good. Right now, it's just like um, I'm just drinking the sparkling water. I think, oh, yeah, why I just, is it so fancy? That's I a got fancy. the slightly fancier model. Oh. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, I think, yeah, that would definitely save you so much money because yeah. it's just you know water, water. It you, is. Yeah, yes. water, water. You just gotta put carbonation. So long run, that would save you money. Yeah. Wow. 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 Yeah. I'm drinking a cherry vanilla diet coke. Ooh, cherry. Wait, vanilla? that looks. So, oh my god. Wait, I love that one. That one's so good. I've never tried it. I really love cherry vanilla. I love cherry mm. cola. And when I was a kid, I loved vanilla. Both of them together, it's like interesting. It's really good. It's yeah. re- it's really good. They came out with a mango mm. one. Oh yeah, I saw that. The it's mango. Not bad. I've not seen bad. like I've seen that they've had like the orange vanilla Coca Cola. Mm-hmm, that was good too. Yeah, I I haven't tried that one, but I'm like it just reminds you like you know cream soda. Like yeah, you know? it, it, does yeah, it, it like, it, like soda, oh yeah. okay yeah. okay maybe I'll try it next time at the store. Yeah. 
I mean, they've had it out for like a year already because when I worked yeah, at the old yeah. job, we catered or we had them. We had that. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, so. <laughs> okay, well, Father's Day is coming up. Oh, yeah. um, the holiday that, like, at least in my house, Mother's Day is something that's planned for like at least a couple weeks in advance. <laughs> and then Father's Day, it's like. <laughs> it's like, what are we doing? Oh no, that's um, you wanna me. get you yeah. wanna get breakfast or do you wanna do you wanna go out to a restaurant or something? And that's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that's actually us. Like because my 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 mom think takes a father's day, she wants to do what she wants to do. And then I don't think no one wants to no one wants to go do what she does. So right now she's upset. She's in her room, like she's just like watching her K dramas. And I keep trying to talk to like, hey, should we like make a reservation to this place for like dad? And she's like, I don't know. I don't know what he wants to do, and I'm like, oh, yo, why are we why are we trying to fight on uh, on the on like Father's Day? Like, yo, <laughs> why are we trying to fight on Juneteenth? <laughs> oh yeah, is that today? Yeah, yeah. Juneteenth today. Oh, yeah, that's that a brand today. new federal holiday. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Juneteenth, I guess. <laughs> Juneteenth. Yeah. Are you guys so is that like a federal holiday officially? It's, like now? It is. It is. Yeah, yes. it is. Does I that mean it. anything for you, Daisy? Yeah, I got Friday off. I I, I, I knew, had a three day weekend. I knew some nice. companies, um, some companies, uh, they gave their employees for Friday off. Not mine. My company's yeah. whack. Yeah, I like. I think my com- <laughs> my company wasn't able to just because I think some teams did, but we literally had like fifty meetings like planned on Friday that can't be like pushed back because it was like important. So, so I didn't get Juneteenth off, but. Yeah, you know, kind of a step in the right direction, except for from what I've been like, you know, reading around, they've been trying to like, you know, they passed Juneteenth as like a federal holiday, but at the same time, they've been trying to pass deals on like, to like stop like voting restrictions, huh? Like voting kind of, restrictions or what? No, like I think something like about like, like education around like the history of like Juneteenth and stuff like, uh what's it called oh, I Critical forgot race theory yeah that stuff yeah which is funny that like I, there's a bunch of bills to like trying to stop that but like yeah. they literally do not teach critical race theory in yeah in public education like the only the first time i learned about it was in college because i specifically majored in social like, yeah yeah social justice yeah so like a lot of people don't actually know what it is yeah <sighs> kind of interesting but you know you know so, i feel like you know people like you know Black people been celebrating Juneteenth for a long time, so you know it's nice that it's finally like official, officially recognized as a holiday. That was that was cool. That was cool. What are you doing for Father's Day, people who aren't home? <laughs> uh, I pre-bought my dad a gift. Oh Ooh. yeah. Uh, last time they were here, and I was like, okay, I'll just buy this for you for Father's Day. I mean. My family, we're not really, like, huge on, like, Mother's Day and Father's Day and stuff, so, um, <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, but, like, we never, like, went out as much, I guess, so it's just kind of like, oh, get her a gift and let's call it a day <laughs> or get them a gift. <laughs> oh, I wish it was like that. But... I mean, I think my mom's more of, like, a, oh, my God, we have to get him a gift or something. Like, my yeah. mom will always help me plan, like, a gift for my dad or something. My Do dad's guys... always, like, yeah. I'll get her flowers. Oh, yeah. I'll let, I'll let Daisy explain what you, like, what are, you, what, are okay. you, what are your plans with, like, Father's um, Day since you're in New York? Well, I'm, I was just going to FaceTime mm. and that's it. Yeah, me too. I'm not really gift giver. And it's like like Eric said, we don't miss yeah. Mother's Day, we plan it. We like we had the mariachi for Mother's Day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then for Father's Day, it's kind of like let's just make food. I feel like it's like <laughs> it's just for some reason it's just so much harder to get like gifts for like dads, like in general, even for like you know, birthdays yeah. and stuff. Like for my mom, like at least for my mom, like I like she outwardly talks about like what she likes and stuff. And like with my dad, I'm like, man, I don't know what he wants because he doesn't say anything. He doesn't mention like if he wants something or not. Like he he'll just get it, you know? Yeah. That's why I just like I pretend to bring my dad like 
because now he just likes clothes from Costco. So I'll like, be like, oh, so what do you like at Costco? And he's like, oh, I like this and this and this. And I'm like, oh, okay, let's go get it. And he's like, why? For Father's Day? He's like, oh. He's like, oh. Yeah, I didn't even tell him I was buying it. I just kind of went because he was getting a, his new TV. Oh, that's nice. And then I was like, okay, let me just go buy this real quick while you're not here. <laughs> yeah, that was me earlier because I went to, because I was like, I have to go to the store to like buy like a card and like like stuff and then my dad's like where why are you going out and I'm like yeah I'm like I'll be back in like two hours and then he is like I, I I was saying I want to buy like art supplies and like you know like the one in Schaumburg so I was like I'm going to like buy art supplies and stuff but also I, there's another reason why it took me so long but I was like this man was like, you're meeting someone, aren't you? And I'm like, no, I swear, I'm not. I'm not. I'm actually going to, like, the store. But also why it was, like, you know, two hours was, as you may have seen in, like, our personal group chats, I lost my wallet. Did you find it? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Where was it? It was at the last bar. So for listeners, I went out yesterday, the other night, and I, I was out for like, I was out for 12 hours. Like, that's how long I was out. I came home at five, like, I got home at like 5 a.m. But um, yeah, I, at some point when I was in the Uber going home, I was like, I can't find my wallet. But I'm like, it's probably at like um, the apartment I was at. And then I text my friend, I'm like, hey, can you check like your friend's apartment and see if like it's there? And he's like, I don't see it, but I'll check in the morning when it's not dark. And he's like, he couldn't find it. And I'm like, it's like the last place I can think of was the bar that I was at. We were at because we stayed there until they closed. And that was like the last time I like actually took my wallet, my wallet out to like show my ID. But the thing was, they didn't, they don't open until 5 p.m. <laughs> so I yeah. like, so yeah. So if when I call, like, no one's gonna answer, but they have like the email stuff. So I'm like, I'll just shoot them an email. Maybe someone will answer like beforehand. And then, but at like five o'clock, they're like, we're gonna check. And then they found it. So then I was like, I gotta skirt over there because I'm like, one, I, my license is in there. So, and two, like, all my credit cards are on the air in there and stuff. So I was like, hmm. So yeah, that's my, you know, I lose a lot of things. Like, I feel like, you know, even even though I brought a big bag, I somehow still lost, like, my, wa- my wallet. Like, um, to tie, like, a string between your bag. I think I need a, because, you know, because, you know, I got, because, Eric, you have, like, you know, like, that, like, that thing where, like, it, it like, tracks it, yeah? Tie. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're yeah, remember, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I think, I think I need to get myself a tile, because... <laughs> This is ridiculous. I I just lose like, at least if it's my phone, I can track it. But like, if it's yeah. my wallet, like you know, there's like you know my health insurance, my credit card, my Your driver's whole life license. My there. whole life is like in that. And if I lose it, oh my god! I and then if I and then the thing is like, I was like I was drunk, so I was like I don't even know where it is. <laughs> I'm like, at least if I was sober, I'm like I know exactly where I left it. But I was like panicking. I'm like. I'm like in the Uber, like drunk, like silently panicking, because I was in the Uber with like one of uh, my other friend, because um they or like we did like kind of like the carpool thing, and I'm like I'm like I'm not gonna freak him out because then he's gonna be like no your wallet, and I'm like fuck. So yeah, I'm not very I'm I lose things like important things a lot. I need yeah, so I I because like. I would lose mostly my headphones or my wallet frequently. Yes, I yes. I decided to buy like the, I was going to buy the tile, but then the Apple came out with the AirTags and I'm just like, I already have an, a bunch of Apple ecosystem stuff. So I'll just get it. Yeah. And the amount of times, like I would have never known that it was in your car. Cause yeah, I, I wouldn't have either. <laughs> I feel like I wouldn't have, cause so for those that don't know, no, um, uh, me and Eric went like somewhere and he left his wallet like in my car. And I had no idea because it's not like on the seat. It was like straight up under like the seat. And I wouldn't have ever looked <laughs> down there until Eric was like, my, my, I left my wallet. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, okay, damn. Well, my mom took the car. So you're going to have to wait. <laughs> yes. 10 out of 10. Like if you are someone who loses that kind of stuff, I would recommend. <laughs> I have one. It, I think it was like a four pack or a three pack. So I have one on 
in my wallet, one tied to my car keys and then one with my AirPods. So. Mm. Yeah, I think I might get like a AirTag for my iPad because my iPad doesn't have um I don't have it set up with a uh, data. So mm-hmm. if I like care if uh, I like yeah. so if I'm like if it's some if I'm somewhere with like it's not connected to the Wi-Fi, if I like lose it, like there's no way of me tracking it because it's not there's no data. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember Eric. Eric would leave his uh, wallet a lot in high school, like in the it practice was, room. Oh yeah, you'd leave keys, it in like the everything. band. Yeah, we would see it, and we're like, "That's Eric's." Like we like that's definitely Eric's. Always losing it. I have a question for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Changing topics. Changing topic. So Fourth of July is coming, and I don't know about y'all, but Fourth of July has long been my favorite holiday. Really? It, yes, I love summer. I love going to the he, parade. He said, this man said, "God bless America." <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> he's <laughs> like he's like I am American. I am proud. Which is funny, right? I think it's funny. Like that's like the patriotic thing is not necessarily my favorite part but it's like once a year where i'm okay with it i'm just like yes go for it so that those people who like all f- throughout the whole year they're aggressively patriotic i'm just like fourth of july every day for them <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every but, day but what are what are y'all what are y'all do you have any plans for the fourth um, of july or is anything like that what what's summer like where you are i mean for me i think i get I get the the because Fourth of July falls on a Sunday, right? Yeah, this year, so. so I get the Friday before off and the Monday after off. So I get a four day weekend. That's nice. Um, I don't know why. I I, I I I honestly do not know why. Like my company was just like, yeah, they give you the day, they give you the three days. You know, they you're celebrating. You know, we got a rally, but um, USA one USA for yeah what <laughs> one for each letter true. But it's also like my one of my close friends' birthday on um, like that weekend, so might celebrate birthday with her. Maybe I don't know if like like she wants to do that week or another week. Um, maybe my parents want to like go somewhere for a little bit, you know, mini mini road trip, vacation kind of thing. I'm kind of sad because I really like going to the carnivals. Oh, you know what? Uh, Frontier Days is happening. It was canceled, but then they decided to bring it back. Are they? Yeah, I don't know if it's... I think it's limited. I don't know how limited, though. Yeah. But definitely no parade this year. I mean, yeah, makes sense. I I, I, can, I imagine, like, same thing with maybe, like, the concert kind of thing. Maybe smaller. Or if, if they have it at all. I wonder how they're going to track how many people go in. I mean, there's a gate, like, when you go in, so... Kind of sad because I remember, I know like every year because like my dad worked for Park District so we could get the rides. <sighs> Gotta pay for it like a like a loser, like a peasant. <laughs> like a peasant, but like you know I can't get my free food anymore. Can't. But I you know I want I want my over overpriced carnival food. Like yeah. it's 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 like you know like le- give me let me pay seven dollars for my my lemonade like. <laughs> Give me the year I get a funnel cake. Yeah, actually, funnel cake. Give me, give me all the diabetes. I mean, yeah, I like, I just like the environment of, like you know, the carnival. It's just fun to walk around. Windfish. Windfish. Um. Fish that died. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Tiffany's fish. Gosh, she won a fish, and then. No, can I want it for? Oh yeah, can I want it for (laughs) Tiffany? I didn't even win it. How many? Um, it would last how, two how, weeks. Two weeks. Okay, that was actually longer than I thought it did. Because in my mind, I was like, "Man, it was probably like two days." No, it was two weeks. Yeah. So if you don't know, her uh, her fish jumped out of the tank. <laughs> he said he said he did not want to. He said game over. I think it's because of the oxygen levels. Because I was. It might. To, yeah. I was about to change the water that day, and then oh. he's just like, "Nah, dog." He's like, like he's like it's too late. Yeah, you hit. We reached the timeline. That's actually so sad. Oh, have you guys ever like? Fish. Yeah, have you guys ever kept any like like those like the fish from the carnivals? Like, I have you ever? Yes. Can I, I hold fish last the longest? It was like a year. Yeah, I I definitely had when we used to have a fish tank. I definitely did. I mean, Me you too. I mean, you guys remember like I think that that same year I won a hermit crab. 
Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah I, like, I remember that. Too. And then I bought another hermit crab. My hermit crab, like, they, they, they like, I, my hermit crabs, because so, of hermit crabs, like, if they're stressed, they, like, they, like, basically, like, slowly, like, kill themselves. So. The salt and pepper or something like that? Uh, lemon and lime. Lemon and lime. Yeah. <laughs> because, I, because the story behind salt that was... <laughs> So no, close. Yeah. close. Store, okay, I got, I got like, because I got the other one at like the store because I, I read that they like to, like they like to be with other hermit crabs, but um, if you remember, there was like a small kid, like threw a like he like. He like tried like he like threw a lemon at me for some reason. He thought it was oh, so yeah. funny. Oh yeah, so funny. We were and watching. I, but I think, but I think he was, like he was trying like not to get caught. But I knew it was him, and I turned. You right went up at, to him or something. I went right up to him, <laughs> picked it up, and I threw it out of space. <laughs> That's and I was so like, funny. And I, was, I actually was like, don't throw shit at people. And all his friends were like, oh. Like, this was like we were like we were like it was like senior year. Like yeah, we, we just watching, graduated. We were watching Daisy shoot basketball hoops. Yeah, and then yeah, and then I think T- Tiffany, you t- I think so, you turned around. You're like, what happened? Yeah, <laughs> so good. <laughs> you're like, you're like, like this, they're like half our, like twice our height, and you're just like, don't throw. <laughs> I was like, don't throw. I'm like, I don't think that I don't think they expected like me to like say something, you know, like the kid, like because they, like, they probably thought we were younger than him. Yeah, yeah honestly, probably. Honestly, I'm like, I'm just so short. <laughs> so I, and I turn around, I'm like, no, it's, it's just not funny. That's just not, that's just not sanitary. I'm gonna say, what if I was mm-hmm. allergic? To- so yeah, because of that lemon, my hermit crab, like to commemorate that that night, <laughs> my uh, my uh, it's it was named lemon. <laughs> was it? Did it? Wasn't that night also plain white plain uh, plain white teas? Like played that night. I think. I wasn't sure was if it was it that. Was it White Tees or is it a cover band? No, no, it was, no, it was I actually. Think I think they definitely played at some point. I don't remember. No, it was definitely, I wasn't sure if it was that night, but they, it was, it's because they're from like around, they're around, the, they're from around the area. Oh, so. really? Yeah. So that's why um, they they came to play. So, you know, that was kind of cool. But yeah, 4th of July, it's just nice. Like, you know, barbecue time, like summertime, nice time. I Show, think the relax. 4th of July definitely tells like or is a signal that it's summer. I mean, yeah, yeah, it yeah. starts in like June, but I think like like summer starts like mid June, I believe. Yeah, I've never I feel liked... like here it's not really summer. It's just like sixties. I mean, because you're like you're oh, in like you're like cool. you're in, like, Canada because <laughs> you're in upper upper New York. So yeah, that's cool. Well. Yeah. Yeah, so it's That's, like not hot. It's like a nice temperature. So it's like kind of like nice spring kind of yeah. temperature, like the fall, but without like the awful spring rain and stuff. Does it get hot yeah. in Iowa? There's like no water there, like no. Yeah, it's literally the same thing as in Illinois. Really? Yeah. Because I feel it, like it was like eighty. It's yeah. ninety right now. It's been yeah, like right? Whole, yeah. It, yeah. It's Illinois been warm. Illinois definitely gets more humid though because of all the. Like especially like okay. Chicago because all the skyscrapers, so all the moisture just gets trapped in. So definitely, we it just gets pretty humid in the area. Yeah, it's just hot here. Yeah. What do you do for fun, Tiffany, in Iowa? What what, what yeah. do people do for fun in Iowa? Like, cause I'm like. Do you push cows? Do you tip cows over? <laughs> <laughs> We just go to the ball. We want to like the, the like the, like like the, the like the, the suburbs. Like, like not even like it's not even like you know the like you know the mall that we have. The yeah, strip mall. Well, they've actually been getting more stores, so it's that's getting that's good. That's good. Getting better, but like I mean, because of COVID, a lot of the stores closed. So. Oh, that's that's, that's like so Forever Twenty One moved, and I'm like, okay. Oh really? Yeah. That's. I mean, mm-hmm. For, I don't know. Target yeah. is our. Fun place. Target, target. Oh, <laughs> fun place. Okay. There's, yeah, there's places in the in the United States where they're like, let's let's go out, let's go to Walmart, let's go to Target. I feel <laughs> I feel like that's so, like like you know, like segue. That's such like an adult kind of thing. Like you know, yeah. I like because I I feel like when you're younger, you're like, oh, the store, and then now like when you're older, you're like, oh my god, Target. Like, yeah. oh my god, 
responsibility <laughs> or like I, I don't know like I feel like you like there are some things that like like when all that you're older like as a kid or like uh you like rolled your eyes at but now that you're older you're like I understand I understand why like you know the excitement of going to Target and looking at all like the home like supplies and stuff and you're like when you go in for one thing and you come out with like a whole cart yeah pretty much. home supplies I still go look at the toys <laughs> yes. Yes. yes you gotta look at every single section you can't just oh yeah i know people i like I, I think when i was at purdue my trips to like walmart were so long because my friend wanted to walk down every single aisle and i'm like like man we came here just for like three things why are we taking like an hour at the store but yeah definitely i think um i don't know that's, what. that's when you know you're an adult right? yeah i was just like when like when because like we're all we're all we're we're all 23 like we're like period we're we're adults like I guess young adults but still adults but I I definitely like there's a lot of times when I'm like I definitely still feel like I'm a t- like you know teenager in a way like it doesn't feel like yeah I don't feel like I'm an adult like adult. like an, like an adult adult but like has there been like a moment where it's like where it's like you really hit you or like damn like I'm an adult like I'm in like the real world now like this isn't like no like child's play or anything last week yeah <laughs> I mean, yeah was it mo- the moving process or what, what was yeah it? kind of the moving process and then just trying to find everything for my apartment I think and then apartment shopping yeah, definitely I moving. did yeah and then I did I had a budget counseling, so I literally had to sit down with a financial counselor, like Mm. make a budget for myself. Um, So I did that. And then I also met with the landlord, get my, give my security deposit and my rent. Oh, before I met with him, I went to go buy renter's insurance. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's just... And then definitely you're like wow. you're like trying to learn how to cook too because that wasn't yeah, something you necessarily had to do before. Yeah. Oh, is it, you're the one who sent the picture of the bread, right? Yeah, that was because <laughs> I looked at it and I thought it looked like bread with ground beef on top. <laughs> <laughs> that would be concerning. I thought it was like a savory dish, and then you said it was like cinnamon or something. No, yeah, that was like the cinnamon <laughs> topping. Yeah, I'm like, oh, she's making dinner. Nah, <laughs> I had my dinner was my leftover fettuccine Alfredo from yesterday. Is that Ooh. what you made? Yep. Wow. Wow. Okay. Because I like Daisy's definitely been she's she's baby. She's baby and family. And also, I know in college, like, you you ate at, like, the dining courts and stuff, so. Yeah, except for my senior year. But, yeah, yeah. I sent a picture of the dinner, the fettuccine Alfredo to my mom. And she was like, wow, <laughs> you're finally a cook. That's I'm what like, I mom yeah. said. Every time I, like, cook something, I send it to them. They're like, oh, why don't you make that at home? And I'm like, at home. I don't want to cook. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. How about the rest of you? Have you had, like, you know, that moment? My epiphany, yeah. yeah, when my yeah. mom's like, "Okay, you're finally paying for your own bills." <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's definitely well, okay. So before, because my mom is has access to one of my credit cards, and oh, yeah. uh, is it so, like joint, like joint? Yeah, it's a joint like connected. One. Yeah. yeah. So she's like, "Okay, so I'll just pay." She's paying using my money, but she does like she pays it monthly for me. And then when I finally moved and got my job she's like all right it's time for you to do it yourself and i'm like he's like time for you to learn oh, yeah um, i mean i kind of like it because it's like something that i have to schedule or like remind myself to do every yeah. month so it's whatever yeah 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 for me my adult moment was like figuring out this whole dentist thing <laughs> oh my god <laughs> wait, 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 you got what? your wisdom teeth removed no yeah so i have oh. a dentist right whatever that was totally normal right but he told me to he well uh he told me to like he's like I, I don't extract teeth i don't do that so you have to go find someone oh you have to blah, find blah, like blah. Okay. And he, he like recommended someone but um insurance but 
Oh, but they were closed for a week because oh. they had uh, like they had COVID or whatever, or oh, a COVID case or something, or oh, two shit. weeks. So they're like, oh, we can still have you, but it'll be three weeks from now after this clears up. And then and, did you just um, want it like to get it over with? Yeah, I wanted to get it over with. So I went to someone else who was really close to me and their website said that they handled that. Right. And so I went, I made the appointment for, for them to do the, I guess, the evaluation, like the pre-screening, I guess. Okay, yeah. And then I find out that he cannot take out my teeth. He, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> what is what? So like he takes out teeth, but not like mine were, I guess, like what are his called like, like impacted? Like very yeah, impacted. Like they're like he, in there. Yeah. So he does, he's like, I don't do that. I just pull them. I'm just like, okay, that, I don't need that. I, like, I already knew what kind of, like, teeth that I had. Anyways, long story short, I had to pay, uh, like, I don't know, maybe it was like $100 or something, or maybe it was $200 because it included um, x-rays. And I was so annoyed because I'm like... You couldn't just I, bring your for x-rays nothing. from your other dentist? So... <laughs> yeah, you did. No, no, no. Yeah. no, no, no. It's because, you know what? I had been told that I um had um I'd been t- I knew that I had to take my wisdom teeth off for years, so my my X rays were out of date, so I needed new ones uh... anyway. So I thought he was just gonna do that, and but you know, anyways, that was annoying. Then just figuring out that I, you're done. <laughs> you're done. That's to it. Stuff. That was like my little rant. But I was like, yeah, I, I wasted like a hundred dollars or two, a hundred and fifty dollars for on- like the X rays. For like the x-rays in the appointment i mean like technically my like job reimbursed me but like still it was really annoying i'm just like, like to deal with that because yeah. you had to go through like so many other people yeah damn another one was that i think mine was like when i had to because i mean i guess like kind of when i like started like living like in apartment like in college but like my parents pay for that like i didn't have to like pay for that so oh, yeah. i guess yeah like the bills and stuff I guess like once I actually started like I got like actual like job job and then like kind of having to deal with like you know like like Daisy was talking about like you know budgeting financing and stuff like I sat up like I think I was doing so much research on like retire like I was already looking into retirement like at this point I was like like I set up like my retirement fund um 401k uh, I did yeah. like I have like yeah my I did my Roth IRA with like a uh, like a trading like a like a trading company, um, and I guess like you know having to like start paying like my loans because like I'm paying for those like I think I have another like a different loan that my mom took out so she's paying for that because I didn't tell her to take that out but like like my my private loan that I took out and the like starting to like plan out more like like once uh they lift the deferment for uh our federal loans like starting yeah. to have to was it in september like october yep. uh, october i'm there. like praying that this administration is going to be able to like cancel some of something that i need i just want to cancel <laughs> something i don't want to be little, paying like i don't want to be paying for like 10 years you know you know Oh, shoot. I'm already paying for my student loans. I was like, I don't want to be in debt anymore. Might because well. I guess uh, yeah. you sold yeah. your soul, though. You property. I yeah. That's I guess true. like in, like because I guess like I could like already. I you could have been paid. You could have paid it like, um, like during like deferment. Like you could still like pay, definitely pay yeah. it. But like I was like, but like I was like, but what if but, like you know something like an emergency happens and like I need like that money. But, like, at the end, I'm, like, I'll probably pay, like, lump sum, like, when the time comes. So, it's, like, I don't have to, like, pay interest, like, as much. But, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm, like, man, I have to deal with, like, debt, like, loans, like, worrying about your credit score and stuff like that. That just feels, like, very, like, at the same time, I feel very, like, young and stuff. Because, like, I like very, like, a lot of things. Like, I, I mean, like, I'm very Gen Z like in a sense with like the things that I like to do and but at the same time I'm like man I, I like that point when you're an adult and at the point you're like man like when's the point when you stop like being into those like like being into like those kind of things you know 
and I'm like or it's like you know is there like because like a lot of well a lot like a lot of things like a lot of people like when they're adults I feel like you know they stop like you know watching like you know like all the like cartoons and stuff like that but like you know those I'll still watch those those are still pretty good you know as you become an adult you kind of figure out like what you like doing and what you do from like when you were younger yeah I feel like a lot of it it's like people also like like they think like yeah they're adults so like they have like a set kind of like vision of like what like an adult should mm-hmm. be like so they're like yeah I, I think like like at least like in like the past generation like they're like yeah basically no no t- no time for fun like work it's all work like you like that? That's so childish. Blah blah blah. I'm not. I'm an adult, but I feel like you don't have to. You don't have to give that up. Yeah. I feel like just because you're an adult, like I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be 30 years old, and I'm still gonna be watching One Piece because that that show is gonna still be going on. <laughs> I'll, I'll be real. I'm gonna. I'm like. I'm gonna have my kids. I'm gonna like sit down. We're gonna watch the 2,000 episodes of One Piece. That's probably gonna end up happening. Um. I'm like sit down. We you, you gonna you gonna learn today you're gonna like it but yeah adulting just feels weird because like I feel like it's very different than like what you picture when you're younger I feel and like when you're actually as like an adult and sometimes you don't feel like I feel like a lot of being an adult is fake like you know no one really knows what they're doing (laughs) and everyone just fakes it like it's like everyone just has imposter syndrome and everyone kind of just piggy banks off each other on like what like being an adult means in stuff like that you know you know you know you know that's my thoughts right now (laughs) do you know i have this story of an experience i had when i went to the store it's not very exciting but it was very (laughs) like it made me very socially anxious really Yes, but before I get to that story, as a segue, I was wondering what, like, for Tiffany, because you, you're in Iowa, and I know that, I think, I think Iowa is generally more conservative, but I guess you're in Iowa City, so it's different, right? But Because it's a college. Yeah, what is, like, the mask, masking culture currently in Iowa? The majority do not wear masks. I've noticed that um, when I went to the store today, there's like probably like a select few that were wearing theirs. So, but I don't know if they're vaccinated or unvaccinated. So, yeah. yeah. Do you wear a mask when you go uh, in? I still do. Yeah. Okay. Cause like, so there's like, okay. So I'm vaccinated. I feel pretty comfortable but at work. They already started doing a transition where you don't have to wear a mask, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of caveats and rules. But um, so today I went to Kohl's to return some things from Amazon. And um, like it said, if you're vaccinated, you have to wear a mask. I'm just like, hmm, I'm going to try. I'm going to I went in. I'm just like, you know what? This time I'm going to go in without my mask. But and was it, everyone wearing a mask in there? It was mixed. It was mixed. Okay. It was like half and half. And it was so weird because it like almost I felt almost naked. I don't know how yeah. to describe it. I felt like I was wondering if like in the back of my mind people were judging me for not wearing a mask and just like maybe I should wear like, a mask. <laughs> it's like you know, it's like because like it's been part of like our norm for like the past year, so it's like a little kind of off to just like ha- like especially like since like not everyone's like doing it. And it's like, you know, it's like, man, they're going to judge me for wearing the mask. They're going to judge me if I'm not wearing the mask. Like, you don't, you can't win. You know what my biggest pet peeve is? What? So we're at a point where you can either wear your mask properly or you can, if you're vaccinated, not wear it at all. And there's still those people who will, like, have it right here like covering their chin or like. I'm like, it's like at that point, just don't, just don't wear it. Yeah, just don't wear (laughs) it. Don't wear it. But um yeah because like um I've been downtown like a few times and like I like I since I was downtown yesterday and it was like they recently lifted the mask mandate no one wears a mask unless like you're like one of the like some of the some of the work like some workers but like not all of it like at the bars like no one like no one wears like a mask and then like I or like if I mean if you're like like the Ubers or Lyfts like there's still the rule you have to wear a mask like in the in the car but 
you know it's kind of weird because sometimes like I'll we- I'll be wearing my mask and I'm like man I'm, I'm the only one not wearing it or that's how I felt like at work <laughs> Yeah. I was the only one in my lab that was wearing a mask. Yeah, I mean that's because I forgot my vaccination card. So yeah, you know. my Oof. yeah my work. Um, I think it's because like I guess like our our company is like a medical like device company, so you're they legally cannot you cannot be like they cannot ask you for like your vaccination because of like the like, HIPAA. I mean ours is just like if you don't want to wear a mask, just show me your card that you. Yeah, they like uh, they're like you don't have to show, but like you have to sign like like if you like you agree like if you're if that if you're vaccinated you don't have to wear a mask and you have to sign like a memo so like you know if there if something like happens like you catch covid you can't like sue or anything because you signed that you got your you got vaccinated or stuff like that or like that was like the like those are like the risks you take for like not wearing a mask but yeah it was interesting because like i went around like not wearing like my mask um like when I was downtown and I was just like walking around with like, my friends but especially like in the cr- more crowded areas I feel like very compelled to because like you never like I don't know like vaccines not 100% or like it's just like you know people are, people are just gross so honestly I feel like p- way later I'll still be wearing my mask because one allergies two like if I'm breaking out, cause like you know I'm been doing some like new skincare stuff. So one of the side effects is it's gonna break you out before um before it starts getting better. Purge. Yeah, the purge, <laughs> bro. Cause I start like um if you do like retinol and stuff, so I started doing anti I started anti aging stuff. So everything's purging. So I'm like breaking out everywhere because of that. So I'm like let me just I'm like I don't want to wear makeup. So let me just put a mask on. And no one gotta no one gotta worry about it. So you gonna you gonna you gonna catch me in like twenty twenty three. I'm gonna still be wearing my mask, like half the time, for the aesthetics and. I hope it stays for sure. Like more generally, I I hope it's like more normalized. I've had a conversation with um a new coworker who was like yeah. a recent grad. He was like, yeah, it was like you know. Like, at least, like, in, like, the international, like, student population. It's such a normal thing in other... He was, like, it's such a normal thing in, like, other, in, like, Asian <laughs> countries, like, like, we've talked about before. And I'm, like, I want... Can we normalize, like, if you're sick, like, you can wear your... You can wear a mask, like, out in public. Like, no one should be looking at you, like, weird. Yeah, like, I read this somewhere that this kid, he had a cold or something, so he wore <laughs> his mask to school or, like, to class. I think it was, like, college or something. Yeah. And the teacher was, like, take that off or you're not allowed in. So it's just, like... He's just trying to make sure he doesn't spread his germs to everybody. Yeah, because okay. that's like, yeah, and that's like I think that's that's just that's just ridiculous. Because you know, it should be it definitely should be more normalized. Like, because I don't I don't know I don't want people like sneezing all over me yeah. and stuff. Like, can you can contain that to yourself? And also like you know it helps with like pollution, helps with allergies like hay fever. So you know. Uh, masks uh mask company please sponsor us i will be i'll be your biggest advocate <laughs> sponsor please see when i got here to new york i felt the same because when i crossed into new york i stopped to get food yeah. and like wearing my mask went in i feel like i was like one of the only people wearing my mask yeah. and they yeah. like look and at was, you yeah, yeah and i was like well, this is so weird it's yeah. like the exact opposite of what i feel here in this yeah yeah, I definitely. I need to yeah. get my food and leave. <laughs> I feel like definitely when if I go in like stores, I just wear like my mask and stuff. But like in like more open like areas, I like because like it's more like open. I guess mm-hmm. it's like fine. I definitely. I mean, like at my work, like I I don't know. I haven't been wearing my mask like at my desk for like so long because literally. That's your desk. Yeah. Because no, like there is no, like there is no one, there is no one like around me. So I'm like, man, this is great. Like, if I worked, like, in the upstairs office, I'd have to wear it. So it's great that no one sits around me. I'll just be chilling. But, yeah, people, at least, like, it's, like, now, like, I kind of still wear my mask, like, when I, like, leave my desk. But, like, at least, like, you know, if I forget to wear it, it's not, like, the biggest deal. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. But, like, I'd, li- I'd like to, like, still, like, wear it. Just, like, you know, just in case, you know. Um yeah so oh i'm ready for recommendations if 
you will oh you got you got a recommendation for I us i do i do have a recommendation oh, okay. all right yeah let's so let's I, let's end it here and let's hear i've been like watching more i don't know i guess television recently and i watched mm -hmm. so one thing that i really really liked is the show called pose which okay. I don't, have any of you heard of it it sounds familiar so, but give us a rundown um okay so it's it's pretty popular and successful it's like produced and like aired on fx but currently season one and two are on netflix season three came out but it's not on netflix yet and it's the final season okay and it's um the first no no, no. it's the it's the show with the largest um script oh, I'm, I'm getting this autism it's the lo tv show with the largest cast of trans people that is scripted so i don't know it's a really really interesting um show i think it's really the storylines are really good and it gives like a really fresh perspective into like um a community that is really like you you don't really see or talk about so i've like i've had the opportunity to like meet with trans people and like learn about that but like to see it represented on a tv show and so like detailed is really really interesting and also it's also like um like a peek into the lgbt community in new york during mm -hmm. like the 80s and during the aids uh crisis okay. so that's, a, that's a pretty good show i highly recommend oh okay so we're doing shows we're doing shows um well, we've been watching anime hmm. it's okay you can recommend your anime oh well this one's not <laughs> an anime Oh, okay. I'll go. Um, so, bro, what, what's the name of this thing? I haven't started yet, but I'm going to start it. And so, it's called uh, it's a uh, um, it's called Trece, and it's a uh, it's the it's a Filipino animated like show in on Netflix. I'm not. It's on Netflix, and it's like it's dubbed in like the Galog, and it's like really nice to see like that become like 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 representation of like my culture like mm -hmm. very like very mainstream kind of platform because there's definitely I guess like philip i guess there's like animated like some like very lo low key but this one's like really like like it's like netflix like produced like a netflix original and so it's like it's um it's about like like the genre is kind of like kind of like it's like dark fantasy horror like crime kind of aesthetic so it's like a lot of it's about like a lot of the myths in the philippines like the supernatural kind of um genre and like culture of like the philippines because that should be wild but basically yeah pretty cool i think so that it's good. animated yeah it's like it's an anime but it's like mm -hmm. it's it's dubbed in it's it's dubbed in tagalog and then there's a there's an english dub too um and then um it's sad tagalog and then dubbed English. oh yeah i mean no the no no the original it... the original dub is oh. like the original dub okay, is, okay. is tagalog and there's okay. a there's a sub in um uh, the, uh english and then it's interesting oh, okay. it's really oh, yeah. nice so all i think all the dubs are all <laughs> they're all like actors of like in the philippines and like the english dub i think for most of the part the english dub actors they're like americans who are like have filipino um ancestry so I think that was like nice for like you know representation in that kind of sense, like you know Southeast Asian representation in mainstream kind of stuff. Pretty cool. Go check that out if you like those kind of like horror kind of dark kind of shows, fantasy. Yeah. Go. Yeah. So I'll go next. Um. Well, what I've been watching on Hulu is a show called Superstore. Ooh. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, you, it's you, like you, you, love, you love that show. Yeah, it's like adult comedy. And it's about, it's pretty much focuses on this store and like the co workers and just like them working through the day. Oh, Superstore. Yeah, yeah. super yeah. Is that Superstorm? No, Superstore. <laughs> it's so funny. It, it yeah. is pretty funny. I've seen like one half of an episode, but I'll, I'll, I'll give it another shot. It's, it's funny. Sure. It's like it's you know. Funny. It's like like you know. It's like you know. There's like you know the office. It's like that, but like the but store. The store. <laughs> it's like yeah. the superstore. 
It's actually really funny. Yeah, that's a good show. I is also... it only on Hulu? Wait, what? Is it only on Hulu? I think so. Well, you, well, you know, broke that. You should, it's all, it should also be on TV. It should, it's on so TV. If you have like Xfinity, you can probably watch it on demand. Oh, you can, it's, it's called, um, you can just pirate it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shh, I don't condone that. Ha 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 ha. Uh, my recommendation, okay, well, it's not my recommendation, but what I've been watching now is Girl from Nowhere on Netflix. Oh. It's like a, it's Thai. It's mainly Thai, and so I don't know. It's just like the, the she's not a. I wouldn't say she's like a protagonist. Oh wait, I, okay. I've, I've I've seen like some of that, I've but I wouldn't say she's an antagonist. So I don't know what's going. It's just like an just antihero, girl. maybe. Kind of yeah. like very like gray kind of. Yeah, like this girl. Character? She's just trying to get people to realize that they're a bad person, I guess, and she just does it in an evil way. Like the first one was, the first episode was the teacher. He was a uh, like a he slept with the students basically and so she wanted him to yeah. realize that that's not good it's not good because th- there's tight the school was titled like purest school or something oh, mm. so she was exposing their secret i guess so i guess she oh. just exposes secrets i don't know oh okay it's interesting but also kind of weird and stupid but also i can't stop watching it so it reminds me of like um this other show i've been watching where it's like like the way you described it like the character they're not necessarily like good but they're not like the they're not like that quote-unquote antagonist yeah. but like within the story they're just objectively better than yeah. the bad guy yeah. but they're definitely not like a good, good guy yeah. like because i think like in the show i watch like literally they're trying to they're like the other guy's bad but like how they they also are do they're like committing murder you're know, like, committing crimes so it's like they're not. You can't say they're good, they're a good guy. They're just objectively better, in a sense. And I think that's a very interesting like trope in like media, instead of like just saying like you know like white and black, like good guy bad guy, seeing like the gray characters, kind of cool. Yeah. What so? What was the name of it again? Girl, girl, girl from, from nowhere. nowhere. Girl from nowhere. Okay. Yeah. It's on Netflix. That's on Netflix. It's Thai. Thai. Thai dubbed. It's been I going. It's it's long, no. It's two seasons. Yeah, and each cause... episode is like four. Because I because I because I, 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 I think I watched the the first season of that, yeah. like when it came out. Yeah. But yeah, come here, say goodbye to everybody. Yeah. Okay. Where's t- Where's Mr. Miyagi? Ah! Oh, he's so big. He's oh. big. Yeah. Oh, he's for, big. Our, for our listeners, Mr. Miyagi is a little thick right now. He is also has a. Oh, um, lazy. Yeah, he's he's he's. he's uh, I'll describe it. He's he's wearing. Uh, is that like a, is that a scarf on him or? It's, it's supposed to be a bandana. It's a bandana oh. on him, and it's like the Akatsuki cloak style from Naruto. <laughs> um, Mr. Miyagi, can you can you can you meow into the microphone for us? Can you give <laughs> us? Can you give the listeners some content? You know. Stop struggling. <laughs> Just sit. There you go. Oh, he look. Mm. He looks not happy. Yeah, I think he just woke up. Yeah. Can you give us some meow? Meow. He's very angry. He looks. He so said, angry. Uh, "Sorry to our only to people who just listened. He he he's a little glaring at the screen. He yeah. He he did not enjoy, He did not want to be told what to do. So it's okay." Yeah, so oh, oh, oh he's little... slapping you. Yeah, no, it's my hair. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, this episode we won't get any, you know, words from Mr. Miyagi. So, you know, maybe next time, maybe next time. So, yeah, we're thank you for everyone for sharing our recommendations. You know, love TV shows. So, yeah, we'll end it here and we'll catch you guys, our listeners and viewers, next week, hopefully. We'll see. Bye. Bye. Bye.